Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are out in western Indiana. All right, we are at the Marshall Covered Bridge, a place I have never been to. I, long ride from home, almost an hour and 30 minutes. You know, out here almost to the uh, Illinois border, you know, driving along and you come down a, a windy dirt country road and you actually find this lovely little bridge here. Now this isn't something I've done a lot of research on, so I can't sit and give you a lot of the specifics, but I can tell just from what I'm looking at here, this was built again by J.A. Britton. Many of the bridges out here in this area, almost probably three quarters of them seem to be built by him. This bridge went into service in 1917. It looks to be 75 feet or so long across a small creek here, which I don't know the name of. All right, um, it's still in operation today with a five ton load limit and, you know, going to take a couple images over here and again we're fa we're facing the same things we always do when we come out here all right to, to do this stuff with cover bridges you got private property all around you you know so you're pretty much limited to the road and trying to find a composition and here we are and you know the time of year that uh, there's really nothing on the trees you know not really a lot of color and this is a, a typical you know winter morning you know out in uh, indiana where there's no sun there's no color there's no anything it's just kind of blah so what we'll probably do this morning is we're going to take a couple pictures of it you know of the bridge as you can see here i can show you on my camera which of course is asleep which is normal we're going to shoot in vertical all right and i'm thinking what i'm going to do once i know this i'll do it probably in color and in black and white and we'll probably make it a one by one square you know kind of set it up that way see what it looks like so i'm gonna take a couple images here may move around find a couple different compositions and i'll get back to you and we'll talk a little bit So I've captured a couple images from both sides of the bridge and I'll certainly you know throw them in here at the end again I'm thinking for the most part I'm looking at one by ones color and black and white given you know what the conditions look like and just as a reminder when you're when you're out here and you really don't have any you know anything going on in the sky or any color or anything like that try to keep some of that out you don't need much of it focus more on the object all right as opposed to you know putting a lot of sky in your image now if there's a you know if there's Something up there worth, you know, including, you know, maybe some storm clouds or something like that. Absolutely, you want to do that. But if it's not, kind of like this morning where it's just a gray, la morning, you know, try to take as much of it out, if not all of it out, if you possibly can. Sometimes that's not possible, so you, you just minimize it, you know, and focus on what you have. So, again, here at the end, I'm going to throw in, you know, basically, you know, just uh, the some images here in color and black and white that I've taken. I'm also going to throw in here at the end... You know, a little bit of video from uh, the trip I made a week or two ago, eh, probably more than about four weeks ago now, you know, out um, to an area called Mansfield, where I was uh, attempting to take some uh, images of the Mansfield uh, mill. Uh, there is a covered bridge there, but the way things are laid out, it's just not really very photogenic. So I, I don't really spend a lot of time in it, but I do like trying to, to capture the mill. Now, on that morning, I struggled, you know, with a power wire coming across in front of the mill, and I couldn't really figure out how to deal with it, you know, so I had to, and as you'll see in a couple of the images I'll throw in here after I show you a little bit of that video, you know, I will, uh, you know, let you see where you'll see where the power line came into play. I was able to minimize as best that I could in, in different situations or, you know, given the situation that I was in. Yeah, so now, why, does it, why isn't there a video, you know, about that? you know just on its own and that was really my intention 
problem is, is I was trying to shoot 4K using my Canon RP, and for whatever reason, it just decided not to focus on anything. It just kind of went in and out and went crazy. I'm not sure what that is. That's the first time I've ever experienced that, you know, trying to shoot 4K with that, which I rarely ever did, you know, tried, you know, and I, I gave it a shot there and it just didn't focus well. So I don't know if that's an issue in, in, in that version of firmware, you know, or in that camera, but I really struggle with it. And I love it if you throw some comments in, if you've tried that with an RP, you know, and, and been successful or had the same problem. I it just really, it just made the it made the video not usable, you know. So there is a little bit of video I tried to capture in. I think it's okay that if it, it is turns out okay, I'll try to throw it into this. If not, I'll just throw a couple of the images in here at the end so you can see them, you know. So you see what what Mansfield Mill to, uh, Mill is like. It's a, it's really a nice place. Now, you know, beyond that, let's talk about you know kind of what's going on here and there. You know, first and foremost, I expect this video is going to air on Christmas Day. You know, so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everybody. I don't know if it's really a good thing to say Merry Christmas anymore, but I still believe in it, so I'm going to say it. You know, you know, very thankful for everybody. You know, and I hope everybody has a great Christmas, you know, and, and a great holiday season. You know, so I want to definitely make sure to recognize that. Again, we're starting to grow a little bit of subscriber base. I mean, as of this morning, I think I'm up to 172 subscribers, which, you know, not quite two years in. So it's definitely not fast growth, but it is nice to see some growth in my, you know, video on the 100 to 400, at least as of this morning, had about 1,400 views, you know, which is pretty good, you know, considering I've only had it out for a couple weeks, you know, two, three weeks has been out. That's really a nice thing. So really happy with that. And I will, you know, in the new year, you know, once we get up and going, you know, I'll do a video a little bit more in depth of what I think of that. And I'll probably use it in a little bit better situation if I can find some time to do that, you know, where we can see what it can really do. Maybe use it for landscapes, plus do a little bit of, you know, either birds or some other type of, of, of animal life, you know, just to see how it works. But, you know, my first impressions were, other than a few issues I had with tra auto tracking on the R5 with it, you know, it, it, it seemed to work fairly well and the image quality seemed to be pretty good so I'd have to say I'm pretty happy with it. All right here this morning I'm using the the 24 to 105 still continuing to use it as much as I can to try to see how it works. It seems to be working pretty well as well and in the new year I'll probably do a little bit more in-depth review or opinion on that just so you can see what that's like you know or see what you know get my get my views out there on it now that I've had a chance to work with it for a while, you know, with, with a good copy of the lens, you know, which is, you know, always important. All right, so now just a couple more updates. All right, yes, we're going to be making videos next year. I hopefully picked that up from what I was saying. We're going to make some videos next year. I can't promise you how often it's going to be. I'm going to try to at least do every other week if it's at all possible. You know, I'd love to do it every week. Just proven not to be really easy because, you know, I switched uh, jobs here in the last month. You know, what I'm finding is in my in my my new my new job, I'm working a heck of a lot more longer hours, more days. As a matter of fact, this morning is the first the first morning I've actually had off. Haven't been on conference calls or dealing with with issues where I work. You know, in, in three weeks. So, so it's, you know, it, it, life has gotten a little bit more hectic, you know, but uh, my wife even asked me, she said, why do you want to do this at your age? Why are you, why are you, why are you working so hard on these things? And I looked at her and I said, you know, what else do I have to do? Now, well, I guess the truth is I do have this I could go do, you know, but this isn't what I do for a living. This is just something that I do for fun and, and, and put out there. Now, I will tell you this, if I can continue to build a subscriber base and continue to grow my audience, you know, we'll eventually start, you know, selling some prints. You know, if people would like those, we'll be able to start doing that. And uh, who knows, I might do a calendar, I might do a book, something like that. But ultimately, when I get to where I'm done doing what I'm doing now, my goal here is to build enough of an audience where I can get out and do this all around the country, potentially all around the world as I as I travel with my wife and, and share those experiences and share how I would go about capturing images, much like I did this last summer, you know, when my wife and I went on a you know river cruise across uh, Europe. You know, I took my iPhone and did a, a video and images of that. Now, that isn't the greatest video, you know, out there because, you know, the iPhone, you know, especially from a sound quality standpoint on a windy day isn't the greatest thing. But, but still, you know, 
share those images and we're planning on another river cruise this time in the south of France coming up here in about three months. I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to take maybe like the RP and the 24 to 105 or maybe something like what I'm using here, you know, the, the GoPro Hero 9. You know, can you can you video and take images, you know, with a GoPro uh, while you're on vacation, you know, and have that actually turn out, something I think might be interesting. So, I, I, you know, again, if you got some views on that or something you'd like to see, throw it in the comments. You know, it, it'll help me decide what the heck I'm going to do when I'm on this on this trip for a week here coming up in you know, about three months. You know, it'll help me decide how I want to go about doing it because I definitely want to get capture images and I definitely want to capture some video of how it's done and, and try to learn how to do all these things so as I, I get closer to that you know what I call retirement retiring from what I do today you know and moving more into this you know is, is you know, I'd like to be able to get a feel for it and learn how to do it and make it so when I get to that point I can do a much better job because again with all this stuff I'm still learning all right I'm still learning how to do video we're all always learning how to do, you know, photography, you know, and in, in injecting our, you know, learning how to inject our own preferences, our own style into that. So by all means, you know, continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Throw your, you know, put all your comments in there. I, I read them all. I try to respond as many as I possibly can, you know, and, and I enjoy every minute of it. You know, this is kind of my happy place. You know, this is how I get away from, you know, the craziness of what I do every day, you know, on my normal everyday job. It gives me a chance to get out here and, and, and clear my head and think a little differently. So hopefully you enjoy this video. You know, and, and I'll continue to make more, and hopefully you'll continue to tune in for all of those because I greatly appreciate every minute of it. All right, so again, I'll throw a couple images, you know, here from Marshall Cover Bridge in at the end. I'll throw in a little bit of, of Mansfield. If that video, if I can find that video, I'll put a little bit of that, a little bit of the video in at least turned out a little bit, all right, which I shot after I realized I was having a focus problem. All right, and then I'll also throw in a couple of the images where you can see where I was struggling with the power line and how I chose to deal with it. All right, in my images and maybe give you an idea how you might want to do that if you run into a similar situation. So again, thanks for coming along. You know, appreciate every one of you. You know, until I see you again, stay safe. So a little bonus coverage for you here. You know, I've been walking around, as you know, I said earlier, I hated that power line that was in the way from where, you know, the angle that I was trying to shoot at. So I came up here a little bit closer, you know, to the mill. All right, you can still, you can see it back here. There's a the dam over here. Kind of hard to see on the back of my camera. All right, but we're using the same thing, circular polarizer. All right, we've also got a three-stop ND filter on it. You know, and we're shooting this same exact scene roughly at about an eighth of a second, all right, because the light has come up quite a bit. But I wanted to, you know, sorry that my jacket keeps getting in the way. It kind of looks like hell, but, yeah, it is what it is. All right, but I wanted to try something a little bit different, see how it turned out. So I'll throw those images in here, you know, just so you can see what this looks like. How about a little bit of bonus coverage? You know, you know driving home uh, from Marshall Cover Bridge, I was driving down another dirt road, you know, and I happened to come along this beauty over here. This is the Jackson Cover Bridge, built in 1861 by J.J. Daniels. For anybody who's been uh, following since the beginning, I think my second video was shot here. All right, it was uh, late February, early March in 2020, you know, and I came out here and <laughs> it was a, basically a cloudless sky with nothing on the trees, absolutely nothing to look at. You know, first time I'd ever been here and it really wasn't much, you know, to, to, from an image perspective to, to take. But 
I took an image from this side of the bridge, literally right where we're standing here, almost exactly in the same spot. All right, maybe a little bit closer to the rails here. I think I was a little bit closer to the rails. Matter of fact, let's move up there. All right. A little bit closer here. And the sun was coming up off here in the distance, all right, through the trees. There was no leaves, no nothing, no color in the sky, just absolutely, you know, blah. So what I did was I took an image from here, I'll turn around again, roughly from here, all right, with the sun coming up over here, over the hill. You know, and as, that sun, as, the, as the sun was coming up, I, I captured this image with a sun star, all right, and I posted it on my Instagram page, you know, and a few months later, the Park County Cover Bridge Society actually contacted me and asked if they could use that image, you know, on their Instagram page, if I was all right with that, which I allowed. You know, if I can find that image, I'll throw it in here, you know, at the end so you can see, I'm pretty sure I can, you know, so you can at least see that one. And then of course, I'll take an image or two here. And if one of those turns out, I'll throw it in as well. But, uh, you know, this area is so po is popular with so many covered bridges that, you know, you just never know when you're going to come up upon one or don't you're just driving down the road and there it is. <laughs> you know, so, you gotta, so you stop and take an image of it. So if something turns out, I'll throw it in here as well. But thanks for coming along. You know, stay safe.